When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? This is your yeah. dress. $2,200 was not in my budget. Okay, well, Whoa. it wasn't in my budget. I'm not using a ring from your first marriage. It's perfectly good. Gold is good. gold, but karma is karma. <laughs> You'd have to transform this whole place. Yeah, it's gonna cost a fortune. Exactly. It's gonna cost more than a tent. Nobody knows where Rachel's ring is. The guys don't know where the wedding band is? No. bride getting all she desires. Weddings are a ring secured with pliers. Weddings aren't paid for until your credit card expires. Meet newlyweds Rachel and Jason. Making their wedding day perfect meant bringing a little of the city out to the country. Let's see if putting it all together takes every cent they've got. My name is Rachel. I'm a 37-year-old fashion stylist. I met Jason, a gas marketer, three years ago. We both felt a connection the night we met. The energy was unmistakable. This is the story of how I managed to design my chic wedding my way. Our wedding day was incredible. It was fantastic. It was perfect. Their wedding may have been picture perfect, but the journey there was a challenge. Let's follow this budget-conscious bride as she pulls the reins on her free-spending groom. My expectations of a wedding planner was that she would be able to keep us organized and keep me grounded. Wedding planner Angelique Sobschak has 13 years' experience planning elaborate events. But what happens when she's asked to bring her big city chic to a one-horse town? As a wedding planner, my job is to take the vision of both the bride and groom, and in this case, the city and the country, bring them together and make it a beautiful wedding for both. I would love for you guys to show me what you see for your wedding day. Yeah, paint a picture. Pretty, it's gonna be so pretty. I want it to have a slightly vintage feel. I don't want it to look like a traditional wedding setup. Okay. Um, it's gonna take place in a big white tent, and so I've got a great big canvas that I can decorate with So it's anything. white and blank. Exactly. Great, now you're telling me it's in a tent, but where is the tent? My dad's farm. It's perfect. Oh, it's a farm. Yeah. Like it's... animals, like cows? No, it's a berry farm. Thank God. <laughs> uh, no, oh, it's all, a no livestock. It's all good smell, strawberries. Oh, all right, all right, that's Stuff good. like that. So this farm, how far away is it? Is it in the city? Is it outskirts? A couple hours away, so. So a couple of hours. Let, let's talk about the logistics of everything, though. Are we doing um, the ceremony there? Everything. Oh, everything. Okay. Everything. How many guests are you looking at? About 150 to 175. So with the tent, though, are we doing any sort of decor in there? I'm super, super excited about the decor because, okay. of course, that's what I love to do. It's what I do for a living. Okay. I'm trying to do everything on a shoestring because okay. I don't believe you have to spend a lot of money for stuff to look really good. Okay. So centerpieces, I bought the vases ages yeah. ago. Beautiful, tall vases. I'm going to get twigs wrapped around the inside. Dendrobium orchids wrapped around those yes. and put a floating candle on top. Are we doing any other swagging or fabrics in there? Any linens? No? No swagging. No swagging. No swagging, no tool, and minimal no amount of- twinkle lights. Twi minimal yes. amount of twinkle lights. And then just plain white linens to the floor. No skirting, no frills, no fusses, no. Just simple. very clean and simple. simple. Going back to the dendrobium orchids, is this the flower you're gonna be carrying for your bouquet and the girls? I'm not carrying any flowers. She doesn't want a bouquet. She doesn't want, want a... Bouquet. Okay, but you're having uh, flowers, but you don't want a bouquet? Don't want a bouquet. Oh, boy, you have just thrown tradition out the window. I'm really meticulous about detail. I'm obsessive. I can be obsessive. It's true. What about the dress? Do we have a dress? I don't have the dress. She's got plans. I have awesome. plans for the dress. We've done some sketches. We've figured okay. out the basic sort of shape that we want to create. Okay. But um, we've still got a little work to do. I was going to say, having something made and custom like that is going to take a bit of time. So you need to get on that. I know. Do you have a needle and thread in your kit? I do. And maybe a soldering iron? Because we might be needing those for the dress and the ring. The ring. Tell me about the ring. Why? What ring do we have? Look at that finger. What is wrong with it? It's mutated. Yeah. It is completely. Yeah, a good friend of mine broke it a couple years ago. And, a good friend. Uh, Can I see this again? Yeah. How? Look at that. Out of one finger to break, 
it's my knuckle on my wedding ring. What and are we gonna do? Do you have a wedding figured, ring? No, I already got a ring because the girls they didn't know, they couldn't decide what to do. So I said, tell you what, get it to fit this finger. Okay. So we got the ring. So it's fitting on this finger. Right. So what I'm gonna do is try to find a jeweler to split it. Okay. Take something, bend it open, clamp it on. And then it's on permanently forever, ever, which it should be. Yeah. All right. So the ring issue, you and I are gonna talk. Yeah. So what are we doing then for food for the reception? He Steak. wants a barbecue. Steak, beer. Mm. Barbecue. A barbecue. I am not sold on the barbecue at all. My vision of a country barbecue is like a pig on a spit and guys that flipping burgers. That would be burgers. good, but don't worry. We're not going to have a pig on a spit because I know it wouldn't look nice. <laughs> Just like boxes and boxes of steaks. We can talk about for it. For the guys. We can talk about it after. The farm wedding is pretty much like me and Rachel in a nutshell. I'm a country boy, she's a city girl, so we're gonna have the wedding at the farm, but there's gonna be a city feel to the event. So I got the vision of your wedding, I think so. You want a tented wedding outdoors on the family farm with lots of chic elements. However, we've got food, barbecue, non-traditional ceremony, guest list. So, with everything you want, let me see the budget I'm working with. Mm. Thank you. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? So are we going to be able to grow our own food at this farm? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to hunt for it. I'll pick it. There you go. Coming up. 40 by 80 at $3,000. <laughs> Wait, I'm looking for my money tree. <laughs> <laughs> On our wedding day, when I saw my hubby to be actually at that time, and I said, oh my God, I'm really in love and I'm getting this guy for me forever. When planning a wedding, sometimes the look is more important than the taste. I am not sold on the barbecue at all. Don't worry, we're not gonna have a pig on a spit because I know it wouldn't look nice. <laughs> <laughs> and later in the show, we'll let you know if the pig got cooked or the budget just got fried. We thought of a lot of different spots where to have a different venue, and what I visioned for the wedding venue was dad's farm, lots of friends and family, beer. So what is this? This is the, you're obviously still your property, this right? This is the venue. There's a big white tent going in this big old green field. Okay, but I need to know, like, how big of a tent? What's it gonna be for? Are we gonna have it, like, this way, this way? This is everything. This is ceremony, reception, everything happens here. So we got 160 people to accommodate. So you need a big tent. We need yeah. a big tent. Well, why so, don't we uh, measure this out and find out what we have? Yeah. And then we can figure out what'll fit in it and go from there. Let's see how far it takes to the farthest point that you can take it, like the tent. Let's start at the shortest point. No, no, no. Well, what's the, the cheapest point. Oh. Every step I take is 10 bucks. Yeah, exactly. I'd suggest you take bigger steps, Jason. 60 feet there, keep going. That's your 80 feet. I'll, get, I'll bring you down a barrier down there. How did we come up with 80 feet? That's the max. Because that's the max you have right now. Because okay, remember, yeah, there's okay. those piles, right? Okay. Let's see how far okay. we go this way. And that's 60 feet there. Okay. No, no, you can't do 60 feet. Why can't I do 60 feet? Because they don't come in 60 feet. What do they come in? 40 or 30. All right, reel me back in. Right now, this is 40. That's 40. So this is the max you can do. Okay. And that is the 40 by 80 at $3,000. <laughs> I think this bride is allergic to spending. Not including the delivery and the washrooms and the tables and the linens. Oh my God. Four. Wait, I'm looking for my money tree. <laughs> I think it was cut down to make room for your wedding. So we can go shorter than 80 feet. You can go down to a 40 by 60, bringing it down a little bit, and that'll only cost you 2200 Sold. Sold to the lowest bidder. But let's see if there will be any bids on the dance hall. I don't know if you're going to like this or not, but we'll see what we can do. It's a barn. It's like a barn. It's a garage. It's dirty. It's very shock. Dodgy. You'd have to transform this whole place. Like, you'd have to cover the walls. You've got the covering back here. You've got to do something about the ceiling. Just the fabric or whatever you do, the manpower to put this all together. Yeah, it's going to cost a fortune. Exactly. It's going to cost more than a tent, just to deco. Oh, um, I can take care of putting a fake wall up on the back to cover my tools. You have a cooler for uh, your refreshments are right here. 
and I got a pressure washer to clean the floor. It might cost a couple hundred dollars to put a wall up, but it's sure not going to cost uh, 800 or 1000 like you're going to put on the man power to do it. I need to bring you guys to reality. It still takes time to put this all together to make it look like a wedding space. We but you know what? Here's the Okay, here's yeah. the thing. This is what I do for a living. I do make things look pretty on sometimes really tight budgets under ridiculous deadlines. I can probably do it. Yeah, but you're I getting married. I need a job to do. And That's know, right. But I, if, if I can come up with the grand concept and delegate the actual work it. to we do it, it. We can get it done. We can get it done. We have time to do it. We can get it we done. We have the time. We have the manpower. <laughs> All right, you've sold me. I'm on it. You put the vision together. Send me the uh, specs, and uh, we'll get to work. And we'll build it. And you'll build it. We'll build it. And clean it. And they will come. some girlfriends over for some cocktails and while they were there my assistant Benji had to drop off some product for a shoot that I was styling the next day and then it turned into a bit of a circus. Those are <gasps> wedding dresses. What okay. happens? All girls around white it's, dresses they start oh. going oh I think we should try these on and have a little show. You have your model. Listen, you know what? These, I can't just let you guys try yeah, this really? stuff on. Why not? What if we call, we'll call Eunice. If any I'm, makeup or anything gets on them, for sure. Benji, you've got to cover. Okay, fine. You guys, okay, we'll call, yeah, we'll find out. Let's... I don't think this bride wants to be paying for damaged wedding dresses. Hello, I'm so bad. Hi, Eunice, it's Benjamin Rain calling. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm pretty well, thanks. I've just showed up um, at Rachel's with all the product for tomorrow. And believe it or not, she's very close to getting married herself and is sans inspiration for a dress. So we're hoping to oh. sort of try some on and... Sure, yeah, anything for Rachel. Go oh. have fun. Thank, Thank you, you, you so then. much. <laughs> With permission granted, it was time for the fashion show to begin. I can't believe it. That's beautiful. Only for Rachel. Look at this. <laughs> look at you I'm two. Thinking. You guys look amazing. Oh. oh. Person. <laughs> Bring your friend with you. That is This is out of control. Stunning. Gorgeous. <gasps> this is this quite is... the dress. Okay, princess. Oh. Hey, this is this is your yeah. dress. I don't see a price tag be... on this dress. But there's at there's all. a price on these two. Which Let's is freaking me out yeah. a little bit. There's nothing. Mine's Let me $1, see yours. 100, 100. 1200. And look, this is 900 bucks. This, this is gorgeous. I should call. just call Eunice. And I'm this just is gonna give her a call. What do you think? Hi, Eunice, it's Benjamin calling back again. I just had a quick question. One of the dresses it came with the little shrug jacket. I'm wondering uh -huh. what the price is on that one. That one's 2200 Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, awesome! <laughs> so the girl that wasn't going to spend any money on the dress and have it custom what? made for nothing, okay. just right. fabric price. But, oh, oh 2200 it fits, But it fits, it's, you it's know amazing. what? And money versus, um, you know what? And I'm I, sorry, I'm, you would not get that detail in a in homemade dress. No. $2,200 was not in my budget. Okay, well, Whoa. it wasn't in my budget. Budgets change. <laughs> okay. It's stunning, I think Rachel. you need to think about it this very is, seriously. This is yeah. so right. stunning. Think. And the price was stunning, too. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so fine, 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 fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. fine. I'll buy what does that mean? Buy, 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 buy the dress. You got the, you're going to get the dress? I'll buy the dress. Jason first suggested the idea of having a barbecue at the wedding. I thought, oh my God, here we go again. He's got a country wedding and beer and barbecue on the brain. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a disaster. And then we went in and we had that big taste testing and it was incredible. This is real Southern style barbecue. This is barn dance ah! barbecue, okay. what we put oh, together for you. No, 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 barn dance, not good word, <laughs> barn dance. This is gonna be dance. There's no burn dance. <laughs> no, but like, let's look at like, look at this stuff. Like, look, like what we're getting here. This is not your freaked out about the pig on the spit. That is beautiful food. All right, Angelique, are you gonna try some of this? Yeah, I'll try a little bit, sweetie. Here, Marty, this looks okay. absolutely incredible. So. Get but, started with that. We're also going to do some chicken. Some people oh, don't eat beautiful. meat. beautiful. It's also a wedding. We'll always like to give two meat options at a wedding. Wow. So we've grilled some chicken for you. Now, I'm a saucy kind of girl. What is that? That's a about? roasted red pepper mayo. Oh, my Lord. I love that. This is impressive. I mean, this looks fabulous. And it tastes wonderful. It tastes better. But I need to ask, what does this cost? 
That's a good question. See? That's the good There you question. go. That's me. You're looking at about $22 a person. Wow. For the food. And, uh, For the food. Uh, and is that is, two meats? That's two meats and three side dishes. Really? Wow. Wow. 20 Hey, look at him with the big grin. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is a nice fancy, like it's a fancier salad and a nice cut of meat and chicken breast. I said that about him. He's a nice cut of meat, too. Well mm -hmm. done, baby. Watch out, Jason. You may be cut up and served at your own wedding. That's so, for this one, too, though, but, like, there is the ultimate cue. Absolutely. Right? This is not the ultimate cue. No. This, what's what this? is the ultimate cue? You can go all the way up to, we do a whole roast beef tenderloin, carving station, carved with herb chicken, three side dishes, a little bit more upgraded, a little bit fancy. You're looking at about $42 a person for that. Okay, that's like double. That's double. That's kind of a lot. It, it, it this already up. tastes tenderloin. so good. This is tender enough as it is, but like this the is tenderloin. Beautiful. But tenderloin to me is like you sit down in a banquet hall and have tenderloin. Yeah. It's not a barbecue feel. Right now, this is already a step up from what you thought. A big step up. There you a go. huge step up. And every step you take is a step up in price. The reception is about two hours away, really. Yeah. You mean two hours there yes. and two hours back? Yes, four hours of travel. Four hours. Yes. Yeah. What would that surcharge be? You're looking between three and four hundred dollars. <laughs> She's gonna lose it. She's not, it. <laughs> not part of the plan. Either basic queue or ultimate queue. Basic queue. Ultimate queue. Basic queue. To me, this is already an upgraded barbecue. It is. Way upgraded. It There's is. no need to upgrade the upgrade. I mean, you're not having your traditional, you know, barbecued hamburgers and hot dogs. So exactly. I think your guests are going to go, wow. Yeah. So Rachel, are you happy? Now I'm happy. Yeah. Coming up. I'm not using a ring from your first marriage. It's perfectly good. Gold is good. gold, but karma is karma. <laughs> On the wedding day, she shows up almost bald. It I mean, was, not, I was not nothing bald. Nothing on I your had, head. It was, it was trendy. Boy short, uh, yeah. hair, yeah, yeah. it was trendy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was nice. I thought it looked nice. Mm -hmm. Everybody says I have a head for short hair. Except me. Except you. <laughs> when shopping for your wedding wardrobe, remember, a striking dress usually comes with a knockout price. It's stunning, I Rachel. think you need to think about it this very is, seriously. This is, yeah. $200 was not in my budget. And later, we'll let you know if this bride was able to strike a balance or just knocked out her savings. I had a very specific vision for my centerpieces. She had a specific vision for everything. Well, that's what I do for a living. I know. Oh, that is beautiful. So oh, I my gosh. This is what you like. Oh my gosh, Rosalind, that's gorgeous. Oh, You've done yourself. Wow. See, I like the tall and the I short. like the small. I'm not sure. I like them too. And my whole thing about centerpieces is that I don't want them to be this big intrusive thing on the table so that people can't see past them. No, so, that's true. Do you like the orchid or do you like the cymbidium orchid? Before I say yes or no, if I like the orchid, can we find out how much the orchid is? That's true. I don't want to get attached to something that's not in our budget. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is like a couple of blooms of the orchids in there, submerged, again with the candles on top. Yeah. It will be around about $25. And then these two with the dendrobium orchids submerged, they will be around about $15, including the beads and the candles. Can we ask how much is the large one now? Um, it will be around about 30 that's 30? Mm-hmm. Which, which ones that you like? I actually really like this, and I think this is closer to a sort of more organic and wild, outdoorsy feel. And then I feel like this gives us a bit more of that. And I don't like the fact that that's 25 versus 15. <laughs> There's many... what the point I'm listening to, is the money. OK, so which one are we doing? Are we doing the tall or the short or mixture? I can get. I can yeah. have it all. Oh, and you can have price. it all. Famous last words, right? <laughs> Including the debt at the end. So we can do six of those yep. and eight of these. So six of those at 30, at 30. is 180. Mm -hmm. okay. Eight of these at 15 is and 120. So mm -hmm. we're at a total of 300, 300 all in for your centerpieces. Love it. But are you going to love the delivery mm -hmm. fee? The only big concern I have is we have a distance issue, which means mm -hmm. delivery. Mm -hmm. Our Location is two hours to 
and mm -hmm. two hours back. Mm -hmm. Can I ask how much that might be? Do you want to sit down? <laughs> Do you want to sit down? Maybe, and a martini might be in order okay. too. Give it to me, yeah. give it to me. Right. I would say anywhere between 500 to 600 dollars. Oh, Angelique. <laughs> oh. Ooh. It's almost at this point going to be cheaper for us to move the entire farm to the city. Yeah. Is there any way we can cut that cost of delivery? You can pick it up two or three days before. No kidding. When you get there, you store it in a nice, cool place. And okay. then the day off, or just a couple of hours before the wedding, just add the water and put the floating candles. This gets better all the time. So the whole thing, with no delivery, you're looking at $300. Unbelievable. You lucked Rosalind, out, girl. I could kiss you. <laughs> It was kind of difficult to get a ring on my ring finger because it's injured, it got broken. So it was kind of nice that Angelique knew a guy to get that done. As I told you, my groom has, can you just show him your finger first? He has an issue with a finger. Okay. We need to get a wedding band over that. Okay. Now he has his wedding band. Yes. However, we need it to somehow fit. Yeah. So I'm hoping you can give us some options. Yes. We need to somehow get it on and stay on. Okay. I brought in a little thing that I keep in my kit in my car. And I've got some gold pieces. Okay. You know, I was hoping that somehow we use some of these. We can certainly use the white gold. Yeah, because it's a white gold ring. That's why it's going to be one of these two over Perfect. here. Perfect. That'll be great. Where are mm. those ones from? Uh, uh these are actually from my first marriage. They're perfectly good rings. Oh, that is just a no. I'm not using a ring from your first marriage. Why not? It's perfectly, it's perfectly gold good. It's perfectly good. Gold is gold, but karma is karma. <laughs> You're going to use your previous marriage's wedding rings. Well, the other option is I could sell them, right? I thought about selling them, and then I would just get money for them, and the money could go towards the ring. So why not avoid that step altogether and just. You know, right? You yeah. Could you use those, Andrew? Absolutely. I'm not using stuff from one of your past relationships. That's true. A past well, marriage? No. That's yeah, but look at it this way. You could consider it as, as you know, melting down the old relationship and reworking it into something new. I'm not considering well, it at all. Apparently, we need more options. Yeah. I'd say you had better find another option quick before this gets ugly. The cheapest option, yeah. what I would do, is I would slice the ring in half, yeah. open it up, Okay, and then on that wedding day, you put it on the finger and you squeeze it closed. So you'll have it bigger. I'll have it the correct size bigger. To go yeah. over, and then we are responsible to making it tighter. That's what I was thinking. What's that one? You're looking at about $50. How do we go about doing that? Dad can do it. You're not talking about right at the ceremony. Not at the wedding. Oh yeah, time out. <laughs> <laughs> I could give so you weird. the pliers, but I don't really trust you with putting pliers. I'm like, you're going to oh, slip it that's off. That's true. Oh, OK. This is your future wife you're talking about. I can do it in half an hour. Really? So while you wait, you can sit. I'll cut it no, for I'm you. No kidding. You can do it straight away. If you can do this right now, then I'll. You're done. Cash, yeah. sold. You can <laughs> throw five bucks on top for speedy delivery. <laughs> Excellent. There you go. All right, guys. Oh, nice. Great. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Andrew. You uh -oh. totally solved the. What? Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, perfect. Well, we'll wait then. From her previous marriage. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> like, no. Well, I was trying to be no. budget conscious. No. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. No. I really wanted a chic wedding, and one of the ways I decided to do that was to enhance the champagne. Uh, I had my own ideas on uh, enhancing the alcohol selection at the venue. And how, what did that involve? Volume. We've Prizes. got wedding things. Yeah. You're going to love it. You're going to yeah. love it. Check it out. What am I checking out? It's little flowers, little hibiscus flowers, yeah. and they go into the champagne, into the flute, and they bloom. <laughs> it's springtime in a glass. It's springtime spring in a glass. <laughs> And you can eat it. Yes. It has perks. I like, I like it's aesthetically that. pleasing and delicious. And edible. What more could you ask for? I don't know. It's perfect. Wow, you can't put a price on that, but you will. This is for the bridal party and for all the guests. Okay. $47. So that's 160 people that are going to have little edible springtime in a glass. Yeah, it's not going to work for the mugs. What mugs? The pewter mugs are. What pewter mugs? For the wedding. What? It's a classic thing to have at the wedding. Where are they? They're in the closet. Can I see them? Yeah. They're nice pewter beer signs. Chop, you can't chop. even let's see go. it. Let's see them. <laughs> Let me, Let watch me see me them. Run. Watch me run. The, no, springtime <laughs> cannot come out of a beer sign. <laughs> There you have a, a deal on these things. Check these out. 
That's classic. Really that's how you great, drink a beer. Honey. That's how you that's drink a beer. That's really, really great. <laughs> You, that's, that's beer goggles. You get to you, and that's beer goggles yeah. for you. You must have been wearing some when you bought these. What are yeah. we going to do with those? And how much were these? 30 bucks each. $30 yeah. each? That's a good price, man. Each? And how many do we have? Pewter. How many do we have? I got 10 of them. 10 of them for $30 each? I got each. some for the girls, too. Honey, this is $47 for an entire wow factor for 160 people. I love them. Oh, honey bunny. It's, that's part of a wedding. That is the end of my styling career right there. <laughs> yeah, it's the beginning of mine. <laughs> yeah. No, that's honey, great. they have to go back. They well, have to go back, sweetheart. No, they already bought. I already paid for these things. Like, beer tastes good. I'm just going to let you keep talking. You know what? Why don't we see these flowers in action? Yes, let's, let's see the flowers maybe. in action. Oh. Oh. oh my God, they're huge! Those are ugly. <laughs> let's see what happens now. Well, okay, when when does the magic happen? I think it's happening. <laughs> I think it's right before. It's Look at happening. this one. How Look, dark so this is. Bigger. Cheers. Cheers. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, 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 down the hatch. Kind <laughs> of like a beat. Try it now. With kind of not like as much as a kick. It actually tastes good. It's the texture's a little weird, but okay. delicious. Let's I like it. the well, fact that you can eat it. So flowers are a done deal. We are going to go with the flowers, and the beer steins go back. No, would you, I'll, I'll go for the flowers. You can have the flowers, but those beer steins aren't going back. Like, mm. I like those things. I bought them for a reason. Hi. They're no good to us. Like, what are we going to do with that? I'm not budging. Me and the boys are taking these things. You don't. I can bring the ones back to the girls. <laughs> Why don't we do that? Why don't we spare the ladies and give them their champagne with their pretty little flowers? I can do that. You can keep your flowers, and uh, we're all happy. Done and done. Flowers and pewters. It's, it's flowers and pewters. Wedding. It is. And you bring them back. I'm gonna bring them back. Oh come on! I don't... It's a compromise. That's what you have an assistant for, isn't it? Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> you are gorgeous. Pretty hot, eh? Yeah. We didn't really set a budget. We had so much school debt. We were $60,000 in debt. We just kind of were like, well, let's just add to it. And we just, we try to do things as uh, cheaply as possible and still we make it we nice. We still do. Yeah, we still, still do. do. When it comes to planning your wedding, some of your partner's ideas may not ring true. You can't use your previous marriage in this marriage's wedding ring. I thought about selling them, and then the money could go towards the ring, so why not avoid that step altogether and just, you know. Later, we'll let you know if ideas like these were worth their weight in gold. We had the idea of doing a costume rehearsal because it's a little bit different and we thought it could be a lot of fun. My assistant Benji came with us to the costume rental house to see what we could find and it was fun. It was. Oh my God, Whoa. look at this. <laughs> look at craziness. The that is crazy. <laughs> Ooh, my granny had a hat just like that. Really? Unbelievable. That's that actually fits. really cute. It yeah. fits my huge, gigantic core head. <laughs> Unheard of. That's really cute. Hey, baby, check it out. I'm you. Check oh it God. out. <laughs> I'm you. You got it like that. Ta -da. Nothing beats a bride with a beard. You got it like that, huh? <laughs> and hard to look at. Yeah, I know. Nice, nice. You know what? This is perfect. What do you think? This is what you're You think you can for. look this hot in this dress? <laughs> you think I can keep the gloves nice and white? I'm he done. Just needs a boost. I'm done. I walked right over to this, this and I'm like, oh, so unbelievable. How do you this like is the that? Best eh? idea. It's pretty good. We need to do this. You need to flip yeah. the script and have this be your, rever your rehearsal shtick. Yeah. I just want to play with my hair. <laughs> Something tells me those golden locks aren't free. Nice. We need to get you into a groom costume. This will be the traditional wedding. She's gonna look sexy in that. Oh too. my god, so handsome. Yeah. And so broke. Oh my god, it fits my head. This is amazing. It looks good. But you know, the only hindrance here is uh, the money. Like, how much yeah. are we talking about for all yeah, this stuff? No, this wasn't up? too bad. What'd she say? It was like 150 for this? That's right. And how much is mine? 125, head to toe. Oh my god, babe! Oh, well, that's yep. that's amazing. Shh. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Oh! I got this, and I got this, and I got this. It's and... layers of savings. <laughs> yeah, it's... It also could be described as layers of debt. It's pretty worth it. We need to make this happen. Like 300 bucks on top of 
everything else, honey. I think you have to do it. I hate to be the bully here, but <laughs> we're stylists. You gotta represent. Nice. All right. I don't honestly think that we're gonna find that for your size anywhere no. but here, and it is pretty amazing. <laughs> Sold? Fine. You like it? I love it. I awesome. think we're making the right choice. Cool. <laughs> it's good. You're going to be in trouble. Yeah. You're still going to marry me, baby. <laughs> Ta-da! We had to sit down with Angelique to talk about the budget. So about this time in our relationship when planning your wedding, we're going to do this. And you're wondering, what is this? I'm scared because I, I see lots you of see numbers, numbers floating around. And there's red stuff on the page. Yeah, exactly. This is going to be your little bit of a budget reveal for you. I want you guys to understand where you're coming from financially. And I want to make you aware and put you both on the same page, OK? Can we have a little bit of uh, no maybe booze, a shot in here? No booze in there. This? You are spending a little bit over just with delivery fees. Look at this, food, right now. You had a set budget for food, we're already over, mm. okay? Again, that's okay, I understand that. But look at this, see the red here? You're over just $350 in a delivery fee for the food. I think that what we had planned when, when we decided that we would do this out of town is that so much of this would be able to be sourced locally. Yeah. And then when we checked it out and realized that there really aren't that many options and we didn't want to compromise on certain things, we had to have it brought in. But then you didn't also consider... We didn't consider the travel. Going back yeah. to the city. Yeah, that. and that too. I, I had no idea weddings were this expensive. From day one, I've been just blindsided by this hidden cost and that hidden cost, so it is no surprise we are not even close to our budget. How are we doing with the dress? Is it almost done? The dress? I got talked into the dress a little bit, which um, put me over budget. OK. Um, now, originally, we had a $1,000 budget. That's right. With and the fabric. That's right, which okay. Carrie was going to make. Well, I actually ended up buying a kind of an off-the-rack dress, which cost me uh, more than that. So more than How the much original 1000 How much? Oh, yeah. Like. Once everything's altered and accessories, we're probably up to about three, three grand. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You, you tripled a thousand dollar budget. But it's my dress. Well, I understand that, but. Well, Don't you get it's, deals? The, <laughs> it's the dress, you okay. know. Diamonds but, all over it. Pretty much. Well, <laughs> and, and not just that, but okay. So you've gone over by two thousand. It adds up plus all the extra fees. You guys are just kind of spending and spending. It's fun out of control. Let's really? Just say it's really. Just okay. Fun out of control. We have some good news. Nice. Tell Decor, us the good news. Because you were being so creative, you're actually under budget. Yes, I will work in this town again. Only by fifty dollars. Oh, yeah. But you, you did it. This is again. Okay. It was your vision. Perfect. You said it, you could make it happen, and you did. Doesn't cover the difference in the dress, but it's a start. No, your centerpieces, because again, you figured out ways to save money by having a friend do the pickup. You don't have to pay for that delivery charge, which would have been five, six hundred dollars. Uh -huh. You saved money, yeah. but you've really mm. gone over in a lot of <laughs> others. What we saved is not. Not even. No, That's not it is yeah, exactly. No. So where are you guys willing to cut? The things that we that we could have cut on. No, 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 not could have. That we can. <laughs> yeah. if, it, if it's on the sheet, we need it. You've got to cut somewhere. Mm-mm. You know OK. There's a lot yeah. of red there. Is there anything else I need to know at this point to put in? No, that's it. That's OK, it. good. Nothing. All righty. No. The day finally arrived when we had to set everything up. The tent was in place, and everything had to be then transformed. It was like a big drum roll of stress, but we didn't even break a sweat. Or a nail. Or a nail. <gasps> oh, good stuff, Jason. Nice work, honey. Thank you. Nice work. And you're in. Now, is together. it almost all done? It's almost all done. All we have to do now is figure out where the it's white lanterns are going to go with the candles in. I'm impressed. You guys got a lot done today. I mean, it's excellent. The tent's up. Everybody's happy with the layout. Guys have been working hard. Very They hard. did good. So now, just a little bit tomorrow to do, and then boom. Boom. Yeah. With the farm transformed and Angelique's seal of approval, there was another transformation about to take place. I was figured I'd be a D. Okay. It sits a lot better than it did in the store. I think if I put this on first, that's a pretty thing for over top. I think so. Okay. 
who ever invented this? Too tight. I like it tight. Show off my figure. As they say, if you've got it, flaunt it. <laughs> you are gorgeous. And just when you think you've seen it all, our wedding planner was in on the fun. I'm your drunken prom date. Yeah. Look at you. Like Look at you. Mwah. A six-foot bride, a prom queen planner, and all the wedding party in costume ready to begin the rehearsal. Do it again with nice. fervor. Look at that breeze coming out. Don't you like that? Look at how much he's smiling. That's what's got me disturbed. The rehearsal was a success, and everyone had a devilish time. Coming up. Nobody knows where Rachel's ring is. The guys don't know where the wedding band is? No. The tradition is to keep the top tier for a year and eat it on your first anniversary. And we did that. I yes, we did. That. It didn't taste very good after a year. No, it didn't. It was pretty dry. Yes. Yeah. When it comes to sharing the job of planning a wedding, it's best that everyone is clear about their role. How much are we talking about for all yeah, this stuff? No, this wasn't up. too bad. 150 for this? That's right. That's amazing. <laughs> Look at this stuff. I got oh. this, and I got this, and I got this. The layers of savings. Yeah. <laughs> and soon, we'll discover if having two brides meant paying double the amount. The morning of the wedding. Our hotel suite looked like a harm. We had hair and makeup in there. They were filling me up with champagne. I did not let it stress me out at that point. Cheers. Cheers. While the girls sipped their champagne, the guys were all tied up. Getting ready with the guys was kind of like getting ready for any day, <laughs> putting clothes on. I'm so glad it was so special for you, honey. Oh, like this? Then like this. And fold. And then fold. Fold. That to that. <laughs> that's not how it's looks like. That's that small, looks, man. It looks like it's like a tribute to the Rockies. <laughs> Somebody here will know and they'll look at it and they'll be like, oh my god, oh, your poof exactly is not poofed you, as it should be. Yeah, don't worry about them. Just put them in your pocket. Whatever. For yeah, there you go, isn't it? <laughs> guys will be guys. And our imaginative girls had a few tricks up their sleeve. And now I'm going to put the shoes on and hopefully not topple over. Oh my god, I'm starting to sweat. When you sweat in satin, it is a horrific sight. And I hope they don't poke through on the sides. I hope you can't see them. That's good. That's pretty good. Panty liner sales are going to go through the roof. You know what? We could, we could take a couple extra with us. Yeah, actually. Okay. I'll put some in my purse. Pumping? Oh, we are ready. Bustling. 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 <laughs> can I just see if I can walk to the door? Because I have not walked in this dress yet. I can walk. It is like dragging an army of people behind you. Our bride was set with panty liners in place, but Angelique had a few last-minute fixins and frolicking in the woods. Cam! Did you happen to notice, well, with all those flowers, is there three little vases? I didn't see them, no. Oh, yay. I might have to quickly make something. Oh, well, we throw something together. Exactly. <laughs> OK. OK, yes, that's perfect. That's just what we need right there. OK, can you get the moss, please? Clean it off, dig it up. And away we go. Is there a wild animal? Something's back there. Yes. <laughs> Angelique's quick thinking created last minute centerpieces, but there was one more problem to solve. Nobody knows where Rachel's ring is. <laughs> <laughs> The guys don't know where the wedding band is? No. Jason They've asked me to ask you. I don't have it. He lost the ring? Well, he didn't lose it. He said he never had it. Did the best man have it? No. That's his there he is. There he is. He found it. Jason, tell me you have happy news. I got my wedding ring. Where's Rachel's? That's what I said. Adam probably needs both of these. Where her, I don't have any idea where Rachel's rings are. I've got my wedding band that I'll give you. No, this is silly. I'm gonna Rachel's ring somewhere. Let me call. Let me call her. Maybe she has it. Whoever had a last still has it. All right, let me just find out. Oh, that's silly. What? Can I speak to Karen? Are you on speakerphone? Okay, good, because this is serious. 
Do you have Rachel's wedding ring? Yeah. I'll give you mine, just in case, okay? Back Hi, Tom, it's good. Angelique. Do you have Rachel's wedding ring? Does anybody? Okay, we need to ask Rachel now. It's time to ask Rachel. Ask Rachel where the wedding rings went. She's saying it's not her responsibility. It's at the farm. Where at the farm? Does she know where they were left? Hidden at the farm. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. I know where they are. OK, never mind. Jason knows where they are. Thanks. Where's my dad? No, I know where they are. OK, bye, bye. All right, go. go. We put them in a very safe location. That's exactly what she said. Go, go, go. Genius. Well, thank God I remembered five minutes before Genius. the ceremony. If I'd have actually spoken to you on the phone that morning about that problem, me. yeah, I probably it would have, but yeah, not been perfect. Yeah. To you and Rachel. Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Jason's pewter beer steins were a hit with the boys, and while they took one last swig, the bride was arriving in style, and the ceremony was set to begin. When I walked down the aisle, I was in awe. The emotion really overtook me when everybody stood up, that it kind of hit me. And I was just like, okay, keep it together, keep it together. Jason, you speak these words. <clears throat> Rachel, I take you to be my partner, loving what I know of you and trusting what I do not yet know. <laughs> I promise to love and to cherish you for whatever life will bring us. I memorized it. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't. Jason, I love you, and I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. I promise to encourage and inspire you. That didn't take long. <laughs> to laugh with you and comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. Yeah. <laughs> Need a mechanical assist. This is something I've never experienced before, but he's making sure that ring stays on there forever. Oh my God. <laughs> We're good. Okay. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Please greet each other with a kiss. Coming up. That's awesome. It's gorgeous. Oh, thank you. That's what I do for you, my love. Thanks. Thanks. The most memorable part of my wedding night was my brother-in-law was asleep in our bed. And we spent the evening just uh, sitting around waiting to, to go to the airport very early the next morning. When it comes to your wedding day, be sure to clamp down on any possible problems. This is something I've never experienced before, but he's <laughs> making sure that ring stays on there forever. Oh <laughs> Soon, we'll reveal if this groom kept his word to his bride and his spending under budget. When I came into the tent, it was perfect. It was exactly as I had envisioned it. And I had had this vision for months and months and months. And there it was, executed. It was gorgeous. It looks That's beautiful. awesome. Oh. It's gorgeous. And it's Thanks, warm. And... It's nice and warm in here. It's very warm. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, thank you. And with that, the champagne was served, and the guests couldn't resist the sizzling barbecue. Reception was awesome. We had a lot of people. It was just kind of, go ahead, barbecue's open. If you're really hungry, you got in line right away. If you wanted to wait, you just waited. And they just went through the barbecue, came back in, sat with who you wanted to see with. It wasn't really tight on, this is your chair. You just sat wherever you were. You were thirsty, you went to the bar. Our bar was open all day long. So it was just great, relaxed, fun, stylish. The barbecue was delicious, the tent was magical, and this outdoor party went on into the night. Today was amazing. It was outstanding. It was everything we could ever dreamt of. It was and everything, wished. everything. Yeah. I could not have dreamed yeah. this any better than it was. No, I was, I don't even know I was dreaming, but I am now. It was perfect. Every bit. Perfect? But will you feel that when you see the bill? The original budget we handed to Angelique was $15,000. I can't decide what was more fun, picking out our costumes or wearing them for the rehearsal. Total cost, $275. The edible flowers were a huge hit. For the flowers and the beer signs that we did keep, the total was $321. I definitely was able to pull my vision together for bringing the outdoors in. Decor costs for fabric, flowers, and tree stands was $868. 
Angelique was super helpful. She totally knew her stuff. Her fee was $2,100. My dress was a teensy bit more than if I had had it made from scratch. With alterations and accessories, the total cost was $3,659. The farm was a perfect venue for our wedding. For the tent, the rentals, the food, and the alcohol, $15,292. Miscellaneous costs, including transportation, DJ, photography, came to $12,416. What we actually spent was $34,931. Which puts us over by a massive $19,931, which is like a trip around the world for a year. Yeah. <laughs> Not the way you travel. Oof. Well, six months now. Yeah. Ouch. The meat has been grilled. The couple has had their first dance and love blossomed in a glass. The only question left is, did Angelique get the lanterns lit before the sun came up? I don't think I prepared for the kiss there. No. Nope. Did you? No. Nope. No. But I practiced weeks before with somebody else. <laughs> and, uh... Our side of family is so cheap, I don't even have a wedding band. Seat. You had it, you took it out. <laughs> Don't tell lies.